There are so many in-depth legal dramas on TV these days that any long-time viewer could end up feeling like a lawyer themselves. Some legal dramas spend less time than others on the legal aspect, whereas others have clearly spent months researching and working with real-life defense attorneys. Many lawyer TV shows feature a different case each week, but the very best legal dramas go beyond the procedural nature of the genre and take some major risks. But holding audiences for a long time inside a courtroom can lose all enthusiasm, which is why some legal drama comes with a mix of genres. Here are the five best legal dramas prioritized from different streaming platforms. Number five, The Good Wife. The Good no. Wife is an American legal and political drama television series that aired from 2009 to 2016. Created by Robert and Michelle King, the show was critically acclaimed and became known for its complex characters, intricate legal cases, and exploration of politics and ethics. The Good Wife centers around the life of Alicia Florek, portrayed by Juliana Margulies. Alicia is a highly intelligent and capable woman who, after taking a hiatus from her legal career to focus on her family, returns to work as a defense attorney in a prestigious Chicago law firm. Her decision to re-enter the workforce follows a public scandal involving her husband, Peter Florek, a former state's attorney who has been imprisoned due to corruption charges and infidelity. As Alicia navigates her return to the legal profession, she faces challenges, ethical dilemmas, and personal conflicts. She becomes a part of high-stakes court cases, often pitted against her former colleague and friend, Will Gardner, played by Josh Charles. The series also explores Alicia's complicated relationships with her husband and her evolving career. The Good Wife received critical acclaim throughout its run and won several awards, including Emmy Awards for Acting and Writing. It also spawned a spin-off series called, The Good Fight, which follows the character Diane Lockhart and her experiences in a new law firm. The Good Fight continues to explore legal and political themes while providing a platform for social and political commentary. Life. Number 4, Goliath. Goliath is an American legal drama television series created by David E. Kelly and Jonathan Shapiro. The show premiered on Amazon Prime Video on October 13, 2016, and it was well received for its gripping storytelling, complex characters, and the performance of its lead actor, Billy Bob Thornton. Here are some key details about the Goliath TV series. Goliath follows the story of Billy McBride, played by Billy Bob Thornton, who is a once powerful lawyer now living on the fringes of the legal profession. Billy has fallen from grace and is battling addiction when he is offered a chance to take on a major wrongful death case against a powerful and corrupt aerospace manufacturer called Bourne's Tech. The case involves a client who believes her husband was killed by the company's faulty and dangerous products. The center of this series has Billy McBride, played by Billy Bob Thornton, a high-powered lawyer who is now a down-and-out attorney struggling with personal and professional issues. As Billy takes on this David versus Goliath legal battle, he finds himself up against a formidable legal team, corporate corruption, and a legal system that he once thrived in but now views with skepticism. Throughout the series, Billy seeks redemption and justice while dealing with his own personal demons. The series received critical acclaim for its compelling narrative, character development, and Billy Bob Thornton's performance. It was praised for its exploration of the legal and moral gray areas in the world of corporate law. Goliath ran for multiple seasons, and each season typically featured a new legal case while continuing to develop the overarching story of Billy McBride. Goliath. Number 3, Suits. Suits Number is a popular American television series that originally aired from June 23, 2011, to September 25, 2019. Created by Aaron Korsh, the show is a legal drama with elements of comedy and focuses on the world of corporate law and high-stakes legal cases. The series is set in a prestigious law firm in Manhattan, New York, called Pearson Hardman, later Pearson Spector, Pearson Spector Lit, and various other iterations as the series progresses. The story primarily revolves around two central characters. Harvey Specter, played by Gabriel Matched, 
Harvey is a charismatic and brilliant lawyer known for his confidence, sharp wit, and unparalleled legal skills. He is a senior partner at the firm and has a reputation for winning cases at any cost. Mike Ross, played by Patrick J. Adams, Mike is a young man with an eidetic memory who possesses a deep understanding of the law but lacks a formal law degree. He stumbles into a job interview with Harvey and ends up working as a legal associate at the firm, despite not having attended law school. Keeping Mike's secret becomes a central plot point. Suits gained a dedicated fanbase and was praised for its engaging characters, sharp dialogue, and legal intrigue. The series ran for nine seasons, concluding in 2019. It also contributed to the visibility and popularity of some of its cast members, including Meghan Markle, who later became the Duchess of Sussex. Number 2. Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul is a television series that serves as a prequel to Breaking Bad. It was created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould, who were also involved in Breaking Bad. The show is set in the same fictional universe as Breaking Bad, and provides viewers with the backstory of the character Saul Goodman, whose real name is Jimmy McGill. The series explores the transformation of Jimmy McGill, portrayed by Bob Odenkirk, into the morally flexible lawyer Saul Goodman, known for his colorful personality and willingness to bend or break the law to help his clients. As the series progresses, Viewers witness Jimmy's journey from a struggling public defender to becoming a charismatic and morally ambiguous criminal lawyer. Better Call Saul explores themes of morality, ethics, the consequences of one's actions, and the transformation of individuals as they navigate the morally gray areas of the legal and criminal worlds. It also delves into the complexities of family relationships, ambition, and the pursuit of success. The series has received critical acclaim for its writing, character development, and the performances of its cast. It has garnered a dedicated fan base and is considered one of the best television series of the 21st century. All. Number 1. Rake. The Australian TV series, Rake, is a legal comedy drama that originally aired from 2010 to 2018. It was created by Peter Duncan, Richard Roxburgh, and Charles Waterstreet. The show is known for its witty humor, complex characters, and its exploration of the legal and personal challenges faced by its protagonist, Cleaver Green. The show primarily revolves around Cleaver Green, a brilliant but self-destructive criminal defense barrister in Sydney, Australia. He takes on a variety of unusual and challenging cases, often representing clients who are morally ambiguous or outright guilty. Cleaver's personal life is also a mess, filled with chaotic relationships, addictions, and a penchant for trouble. Rake received critical acclaim for its writing, character development, and Richard Roxburgh's performance as Cleaver Green. The show's ability to tackle complex moral and ethical dilemmas while maintaining a sense of humor was widely praised. Rake explores various themes, including the legal system, ethics, morality, and the personal and professional struggles of its characters. It delves into the complexities of human behavior and the consequences of one's choices. The show follows an episodic format, with each episode typically presenting a new legal case for Cleaver to handle. These cases range from quirky and humorous to serious and thought-provoking. The series combines elements of drama, comedy, and satire. The success of the Australian series led to international adaptations, including a short-lived American version starring Greg Kinnear.